Last time on Secrets of Monster Island, our monster hunters had ventured to the island of hags and had entered the ice castle that they possessed. Uh, they had defeated a bunch of fake illusion hags and then had fought some bones as well as some trolls. They had continued down a hallway and found a room full of barrels in which a statue was shooting fire beams at them. Uh, they had found Tama Lareira's old journal, which had detailed the events that they were that they were planning on doing. However, the monster hunters had stopped originally. Um, they then ventured into a room with a deer that could cause you to be more exhausted if you did too much, and a fairy drake, which had told you that it was sent by Chaska, and that it figured out that the islands are not in a good state right now. Uh, it is now resting in another room, and we pick up with them at an intersection, in which they only have one way left to go. What'd you guys like to do? All right, let's head on in uh, to the north here. To the unknown. Yes. Should we send the, the shadow, the echo first? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I like not to walk blindly into rooms. Right. So you see what appears to be uh, kind of like a smith's area with a table of weapons. However, the strange part is the weapons in the anvil are on the roof. Did Yodele design this room? It seems like I did. Well, what kind of weapons are on the table? Uh, various basic. There's some spears, some short swords, some long swords. Uh, How are they staying on the table if it's on the roof? Huh. That's for you to answer. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go on through here and through this door and see what's on the other side before we walk in. Yeah, Give ourselves say, a yes. room cushion. As you're walking through the room, you're, or at least your shadow is there. It's still on the it's still on the floor. Okay, so you enter here, and this appears to be a room full of gigantic uh, creatures. Uh, they appear to have this uh, green-like skin, and they also appear to be wearing some scale mail. Uh, they appear to have this giant jutting horn out of their head, though. And it appears to be a room full of books that appear to be scattered all over the place. And they appear to be trying to pick it up and are like, Oh, grandmothers are going to be so mad about this. Um, and as your echo enters, they look at you. I just missed my echo almost immediately. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whew. So. And bring them back over here and say, let them know what we have ahead of us. We got an upside down armory and a room of three quasi giants. Okay. So. All right. Is... Do we go in guns blazing? I don't know how blazing we want them to be. Yeah. I think we could draw them into us and do a lot more damage. Okay. So, like, ambush them in this next room? I think so. I love that idea. So I'm going to come over here. Okay, as Let's you see. enter the room, you oh, yeah. are flung up onto the ceiling. Oh, take... goodness. Is it Actually, a deck you save? Have, you have slow falling, don't you? I do. So how long? How much damage does it allow you to get rid of? 50. Oh, okay, then you take no damage. Yeah, so I I get thrown up to the roof and I drop and I go, uh, guys, and now I'm upside down saying this. Uh, you might want to do something before you get into this room. I'm gonna walk in. And, I'm gonna walk in the floor. and go. What are you doing up there? Yodelay, you're still on the floor. Yeah, I thought I would do my impression of Yodelay. He who? How did? How am I doing? Not bad. Not bad. Uh, I'm gonna bring myself over here. Wait, let me get my echo off of there. I'm gonna bring myself over here and open up my Eversmoke bottle. Oh, and dear. okay. 
blocking this whole area up. I believe it is a 20 foot radius. You opening the door? Not yet. So a 20 foot radius we're, around. We're getting, are, we're getting we're getting set up. Are you holding the bottle? Yeah, I'm holding it. I'm about to open it up whenever we get set up. 20 foot radius. Oh, wait. <laughs> Each minute it remains open, it extends by 10 feet until it reaches 120 feet. Yes. <laughs> That's a very hassle bottle. Oh, no, it's a 60 foot radius when it first opens up. Okay. Never mind. I'm just going to hold it closed and wait. <laughs> <laughs> that seems a little That's ridiculous. A lot of smoke. That is so much smoke. <laughs> All of a sudden, like. <laughs> okay, so you're holding it closed. Yodelay are, uh, yeah. So, yeah. So, what are the what are the rest of you doing? Ar Arlen, how did you get on the roof? It, I think that's the room. It, you can see the other the tools. There's tools and stuff, and uh, mm -hmm. I, I are weapons, and they're also up here on the roof with me. Uh, can I investigate the anvil and the tables and see if I can figure out a what reason why this is like this? Maybe an, arcana, maybe an arcana check. Oh, yeah, hey, worse than... I can come over here and lower you guys to the ceiling. 22. Nat 20 for a 22. You and your temple have read about interesting spells, high-level spells. Um, this one appears to be a perpetual state of reverse gravity. Okay, uh, if we could bring them into this room, Yodelay, we could like maybe bring them up on the ceiling and really mess with them. Yeah, that sounds so like a good if idea. You, if you throw the bottle in, but then close the door, maybe, well, they're going to have to come through the door. Uh, no. And, the, and then the uh, bottle, just, and, then the bo and then the door opens, and then the bottle is going to be everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. No, no, just... no, no. Wait, wait. You just cast darkness on me, and I'll stand right here waiting for them to come in. Whenever they get to me, they'll fall up. There we go. Okay, so I'll go. Uh, hold on. But we wanted we wanted to try and get them into this room. Can your sh can your shadow can your echo? Here, I'll cast darkness right here. Come over here, put your echo back over here, make your echo open the door and thumb their, you know, go, and then run back. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I want to cast darkness on myself. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Is everybody else set up? Are you guys Lauren. ready? Yeah. Um, I think I throw a rope and try to like pull myself up to the roof before like swinging okay. in. Make me an acrobatics check. Swing in like a pirate of Penzance. Eleven. Eleven. Uh, I'll say that's good enough. And you flip onto the roof. Our lube will hop up to the roof, roof with his froggy legs. And he will go on the other side of the room. Uh, anything you're doing, Yuri? here by the anvil. I am. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to wait my turn down the the hallway here to see if if they if they come this way, then I can hold them off. Okay. All right. So, what are you guys doing? Go for it, Yodelay. I I'm gonna crack that, or I'm gonna kick the door open, like I own the place. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And then uh, I will say you make questionable choices and, in your fashion, and it appears that you're addressed by your parents, maybe even your mother. 
and then I'll swap places with my ego. They, one of them looks at you and scratches his head and is like, of, of course I'm dressed by my mother. <laughs> Who else would I be dressed by? No, you don't understand. I'm casting aspersions on the quality of your dress. It is a Oh, you're being mean quality. to me. Maybe, maybe an intimidation check. Ha! <laughs> 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 oh, man. You're making fun yeah. of me. Well, that's a terrible, that's a terrible, terrible, terrible way to make fun terrible. of someone. Terrible. Terrible. Just terrible. 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 Are you trying to make fun of my mother? I'll back my echo up a little bit to the wall of darkness and say, as a matter of fact, I am. I don't think she has sufficient parenting skills to quality, to raise you with quality. Ooh. Mm. I mean, another intimidation check. Burn. That's even it, 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 it's like, yeah, you know, you're probably right, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, total sense. <laughs> uh, give it with advantage, actually. Oh, thank you. That's very kind. But no less good. <laughs> oh my goodness. How is this possible? Start with a bang, in with a bang. <laughs> Well, my mother's a very nice lady. The sandwiches, <laughs> the sandwiches and snacks she make you taste poor and are probably high in sodium. Maybe another, maybe another, maybe another intimidation check advantage. I don't know why you should just attack me to shut me up. <laughs> okay, your that'll work. Is a bamboon, and your father smells like elderberries. Uh, that's 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 it. I'm going to destroy you. Now go oh. away, or I shall taunt you a second time. <laughs> oh, what's what happened? And he's gonna fall towards the roof. And every, uh, we're gonna go into initiative with Yuri. Yeah. Okay, so when he comes into the room, I should be able to see him. And um, all the way from down there. No, oh, he's over there. The I'm darkness. sorry. I was. I'm in my. Uh, no, I can't see him because of the darkness. There's an interceding darkness. Yeah. yeah. I, uh... You hear a bunch of grumbling and a bunch of making fun of each other. A bunch of vicious yeah. mockery in the situation, but, you know. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so yeah, if, uh, there's nothing for me to do, I will pass turn. Great. Those guys are gone, but it is his turn, and he walks in the darkness and is gonna swing wildly at a lax door. There's gonna be like, you're so mean to my mother. Uh, a disadvantage to hit me. Yep. Give me one second. Okay. So, gonna use something. I need you to make me a wisdom saving throw, Laxdor. Actually. Okay. Oh no, it has to be able to see you, never mind. Uh, yeah. So two great sword attacks and disadvantage coming at you. Okay. Ooh, even with this advantage, that's going to be an 18, which I think it's still think will miss. Misses. Yep. Uh, a miss. And that is its turn. The other two are gonna be like, oh, you make fun of my mother. That one's apparently British. A really bad British too. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we love making accents for you on the spot, Aiden. It is great. <laughs> uh, he's going to disadvantage throw a javelin at your shadow, Yodele. That's going to be a miss. So, that'll be their turn. As Arlen, your turn. All right, Arlen's going to move over here and attack with spear with advantage. I mean, they can't see me, right? Correct. All right. With advantage, nat 20. <laughs> That'll hit. Or 12 points of piercing damage. Okay. Um, let's see. Spear attack again at advantage. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, that'll be fine. Um, 26 to hit. That'll hit. 10 points of piercing. Okay. One unarmed strike. 
an advantage. Nat 20. Okay, for 16 points of bludgeoning damage. Ooh, no, I did not. I know where all my good rolls are going now. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And then that was here, which is 10 feet. 35, and he gets an opportunity to attack me once. Ooh, uh, that'll be a 21 to hit. With disadvantage? So, yep, even with disadvantage. Silvery barbs. Because I can't see him because of trimmer sense. It's still, it's still just as high. Okay, great. Mm. So okay. 19 points of slashing damage. <laughs> All right. And I give Yuri the advantage. Okay. Uh, you you didn't hold your action. Did I did you? not. No. Okay. No. Just passed uh, the turn. Yodelay, your turn. Mm mm mm. George first. There we go. New dice. New rolls. Not. There we go. We were just paying the universe back early. Apparently. Oh, right. oh dang, 21 damage. Not that. Apparently your second. mom jokes give you guys like powers or something. Yes. 27 will hit, 17. For 17 more damage, <laughs> and then a final unleashed incarnation on that sucker. 27 to hit for 14 damage. Wow. Clock, clock, clock. Chop him up. Okay. Wait, He's how did he very, look? Very, very bad. Uh, As so a action is your turn. surge. Oh. Okay. Oh. Two more Georges. Uh, 16 to hit. That'll hit. Ooh. 13 damage. And that one is dead. Nine. There we go. Chop, chop, chop. Mmm, tasty ogre. Hmm. George says. Um, All right, Alaxor. I'll stay down here on the floor and let you guys fight it out on the ceiling. All right, Laxor, um, your turn. I'm going to bonus action, get big. Okay. And I am going to hold a weapon attack for the first one that I uh, see come around the corner or sense come around the corner. And that is my turn. I will pass it. Whenever I see a Laxador get real big on the ceiling, I reflexively flinch. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is barely in range. Uh, I need, oh, Nat 20 for a deck save. So Arlo with Tim's account of Sacred Flame, but appears to fail. As Yuri, it is your turn. I am going to then to shoot at the point. I will, uh, I will hold my attack for the next thing that comes through the door that I can see. Uh, you see uh, the one at the front, look mm-hmm. around for a second, look into the room. He looks at his brother, he says, I don't think I want to fight these guys. Yeah, I don't think so either. Then they close the door. Oh, <laughs> there you go. As Arlen, you ain't got no choice. As Arlen, right. it's your turn. That is exactly 50 feet. Uh, can I open the door? Yeah. I open the door. And I, the darkness yells out, what are you, chicken? Um, no, we're just smart, I think. <laughs> and uh, that's going to be it for my turn. Fast turn. Okay. Because it takes an action to open the door, so. Yep. Uh, Yodelay. Alright. Uh. Oh, I got plenty of room. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna move up to that guy. Move him up a little bit too. And a couple of Georges on that first guy. A 25 to hit for... 
14 damage. And... You get advantage on these, by the way. Oh. He's in darkness. Alright, a 30 to hit on the second one for max damage, 18 damage. Okay. Take that. Chop, chop. Alright. Oh, Axtor, your turn. Hmm. Hmm. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and I will make two attacks at advantage at the one in front with my Warhammer. Plenty to hit. That'll hit. And a 21 to hit. So, 20 points of bludgeoning plus the d6 for being large. Every time you say that, I hear the Popeye song. <laughs> I'm large. He's, he's large. He's large. He's large. He's large. Uh, so that's going to be 25 points of bludgeoning damage to it, and it is magical. That is my turn. All right, that's Arlube's turn. He's going to move up. That'll be his turn. Yuri. Yeah, he's going to do the same thing. He's going to move up. And... <laughs> They're really just leaving us here to do nothing, aren't they? they? Just... It's okay. I'll, I'll have you free in a moment. I need uh, I need some form of, like, like I can see really well in the light. <laughs> but in this darkness stuff, it just doesn't do anything for me. Last turn. Okay. That one is going to move over here. And disadvantage two disadvantage attacks coming to lack stores is that he's the biggest, you know, target. Miss. That might be a hit, actually, for a 21 to hit. I'll silvery barbs and give the advantage to Yodelay. Okay, it turns into a miss. Uh, Yodele disadvantage attacks me at you. The other one was a nat 20, but the, the other one is a 19 to hit. Yeah, that hit. <laughs> so 19 points of slashing damage. And another disadvantage attack coming at you for a miss. As they say, we didn't want any trouble. Uh, Arlen, your turn. Okay, if I move into this room, I drop on the floor, right? Correct. Okay, I'm going to drop to the floor. And uh, go with a couple of advantage attacks. Spear attacks. Advantage. A 26 to hit. That'll hit. For 11 points of piercing. Second one, a 27 to hit for 10 points of piercing. Okay. Unarmed strike. 27 to hit for 7 points of bludgeoning damage. Mm hmm. And I think I got 40 for me. 30 down, we'll go 30 feet. And he gets an opportunity attack at disadvantage. He will take it. Hermes. As Yodele, it is your turn. Alright, the first one's at advantage? Uh, yes. The Silver Barks. Woo, that's good, because the first one's in that one. Uh, 30 to hit for... Oh, 11 damage. That one's dead. Oh. Uh, then I'll move my echo over to this guy, and the other was a 24 to hit. Uh, it'll hit. For 9 damage, and, and I will move myself right over here in the corner. And pass the turn. Are you taking opportunity attack? I do not take opportunity attacks. That's right. I mobile. Am mobile. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's an ability you haven't used in a little while. 
So nobody's dumb enough to get close to me. Uh, Alaxor, your turn. Um, I guess I step in and fall. Yep. I'm gonna take a d6 of damage. You take four points of bludgeoning damage. Cool. My knees! <laughs> the whole ground shakes. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I will take two attacks at this gentleman. Normal rolls, since we're not in darkness. Ooh. First one's gonna miss. Second attack. Uh, 22 to hit. That'll hit. Okay. And takes the extra damage. Uh, so 13 total damage. All right. And I pass my turn. All right, our lube. I'm going to come along here. I'm going to make a deck save. It fails. So, 11 points of radiant damage from the Sacred Flame. And then Arlub's gonna use the rest of his movement to not get fully in the room and step back. So, you're does he take more. Does he go back up to the roof? Uh, no, he was just in the doorway, so he didn't actually drop down yet. Oh, okay. He was about to, but Yuri, it is your turn. Yeah, so I can, if I come around the corner here, uh, can I see the dude bro to shoot? Uh, if you come, let's see, right there, I don't, it's like a little bit, but if you come right uh, here, yeah, you can see Yeah, come him. up here. Yeah, that works. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to do something. Bonus action. Hunters mark that guy. And... You still have the advantage. Oh, that's good news. Uh, okay, so the first one was better. Um, and then the second shot. Uh, okay, both of those hit. And then... So... Yeah, okay, that, that's... Okay, so that's 50 points of damage to the guy. Uh, he is not looking good at all. As it is his turn, and he's going to... finally use his special ability. Oh, no. You can see now. <laughs> uh, Yodele. Make me a wisdom saving throw. Sixteen. Alright, you save, so nothing happens. Oh. How unfortunate. Two great sword attacks coming at a lag store. Wow. Nope. Those aren't coming. He is scared. He's like, I want my mama. Arlen, oh. your turn. Oh, now I feel bad. I'm gonna kill him. Oh. <laughs> Tell him his mama sent us to take care of him. Yeah. Spear attacks <laughs> at advantage. Little and skipper not cleaning up the books. Oh, dear yeah. goodness. For 17 points of... How do you want to do this? Seriously damage. So, as he says, I want my mommy, I said, no. And I, the darkness runs in and stabs <laughs> him. Right? And he makes this, oh, but my mommy. And he collapses on the ground. <laughs> Okay, so you are now in a room with a bunch of books strewn all over the place. Yodele, what are these books? Ugh, I oh man, um, I, there's too many books here. I will look to see. I'm a, can... I'm more of a visual learner. I like things explained to me. Can I be an audiobook person? <laughs> uh, yeah. So you look around. Uh, most of these books are just sort of, um, they're, they're kind of, it's strange. They're books on, like, how to 
cook people. Oh, uh, how to serve humans. All right. Yeah, how to serve humans. Yeah. Uh, there's books on how to transform humans into other things. Uh, it's, it's not very good. Not very good books. Yeah. Not very pleasant. About their favorite blood being red. All right. Well, uh, Yoda we Lady, you want to burn these books and see if it brings the hags out? Yoda Lady, do you want to see if you can send your shadow up this way? Sure. All right. So, I'm moving oh, back in. Can... The rooms appear to turn more and back into the icy this rather than the marble. Uh, this is a strange room. There appears to be an altar at the northern end as well as uh, two statues. Uh, in a hallway Did that the continues. statues move as I pop my head in? Nope. They just stand there like statues should. They appear to be these statues of cloaked men. Mm-hmm. No good can come of any of this. Altar, big statues. It's all bad. A little bit more downer. <laughs> this place just keeps going. You rise to greet a new day. <laughs> 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 that hurt. Someone is baking bread. This is the day that days are made of. <laughs> uh. Oh, geez, Louise, pepper and cheese. So it goes, it takes on for quite some time. There appears to be stairs, stairs leading down. And then oh, goes downstairs. There we go. Let's go. Uh, first, I want to check out this altar. Okay. Actually, before you completely enter that room. Of course. <laughs> uh, so put yourself like right there. Uh, Appearing before you. Oh. Here's an interesting visage. You see what appears to look like William in front of you? Get him! He says, Hello, hello, monster hunters. How do you all do? I'll be better when you're dead. But you already killed me. Yeah, that was a fake you. Well, it wasn't the real me, but, um, I have backups. Um, what, where are you? Oh, I see. Hmm, interesting. Seems you're, um, in a small little temple of the Monster King. That might be why I'm here. Hmm. Huh. Is this voicemail? <laughs> did we call and did the voicemail? <laughs> Was Tim returning hit the call? I don't remember yeah. making that phone call. I uh, just been <laughs> wondering, like, oh, that's why I'm here. Like, thanks for calling. <laughs> Man, this is the. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not there. <laughs> sorry, I'm not there right now. Please leave a message. <laughs> hmm, it's pretty icy in here. Hmm. Where are you, Lot? If you wouldn't mind telling me. We would mind telling you, actually. You know that island where we killed you? That's where we are. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure that's not where you are. You Does do you know the entire... Are you island? calling me a liar? I am, Yodelay. I am calling you a liar. You're the I biggest, call you a liar baddest right liar. Back. I know. Well, I am a liar. I'll accept that. I lied to you straight to your face. In accord. Good day. Hmm. 
I said good day. I said good day. All right, it's fine. Wait. Um. So how are things going with you? <laughs> you good? Oh, yeah, well, you good. know, you know, good. Everything's fine. Just plans. Yeah, like what? Um, they may involve you in some sort of way. Oh, good. It, should we get an evite at some point? Hmm, you won't be invited, but you'll know when it happens. Oh, okay. Well, uh, anything, I mean, I, I'm not good with surprises. Uh, I actually uh, kind of like to know when something's going to happen, so maybe you could fill me in. I mean, it's to your advantage. <laughs> we want to make sure that we're, we're there on time. We don't yes. want to be late. Well, I know you won't be late, because if you are late, it'll mean the death of some of your people. If not most. <laughs> uh, while he's talking, can I move around out so, so the darkness is not in him? Yeah. Like maybe you can. to there. Like there. And can I signal inside of my ear, Yuri? <laughs> Take him out. I mean, I'm. The arrows are flying at this point. I will go invisible okay. and the arrows will fly. Roll attacks. Okay. Uh, first one's a 23. Second one is a 22. Okay, so. And third one, because this is the first round of combat, technically, mm -hmm. uh, is a 25, so all of those will hit. Yep. So and... They go right through him and onto the altar, and he says, What, you thought I was actually here? Walking in by myself? Oh, please. Well, we I haven't know... tested. Uh, fair enough. I don't even know exactly why I'm here. Unless... Because you're scared. Hmm, I wonder if those hags are involved. They might have used this room. Hmm, interesting. What do you know about the hags? Oh. What do you want to know about the hags? Everything. <laughs> everything? Well, I don't know everything about the hags. I know well, that they... Let's start with where they are. I don't know that. I don't even know where you all are. Um, I know they worship something they call their mother, um, or I guess their daughter. Uh, it's just most other people call them their mother. Uh, they've been here for a few years. Um, I've let them live out their lives over there as long as they keep to themselves. And don't cause any problems. Hmm. How would we stop them? Uh, I'm not too sure what their plans are, but I know their plan is to uh, bring Achilles back. I know that much. Um, they see him as sort of their key to um, to uh, them getting power, if that makes any sense. And they probably have at least one of these tablets, right? Well, you know that they have one of them. Yeah, yeah. I believe Alaxor sensed that there was one on this island. So. He says, and you're bringing them exactly what they want. <laughs> uh, you guys are so gullible. Thank you. <laughs> so, hey, um, what does gullible mean? <laughs> No, see, because he's a liar, so that means it's the opposite of gullible. We're very smart. We're very smart. What was it opposite day again? Anyways, I should probably get going. I have a... A little... Little army to tend to. <laughs> yeah, good luck with the end of the world. Well, I don't want to bring about the end of the world, just the end of you. <laughs> oh, good luck with that. Toodaloo. 
<laughs> and you see him disappear. Well, oh, that to- was fun. Uh, yeah, I still want to check out this altar. And somewhere off in the distance, real quick, you hear the laughing of what sounds like a hag. <laughs> right. So, check out the altar, maybe investigation check. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, uh, Yodelay, maybe you should do that since you get advantage. Do I still have advantage? An hour. Wow. Was that a message the altar? Uh, Derek. There we go. All right. So looking at it, uh, it does it appears to be mostly a normal altar, although it does exude some magic from it. Hmm. It appears. There must have been some magic in that old silk rag we found. Yeah, then. I guess we'll leave it for now, or does anyone want to do anything with this altar? We should try to break it open and find out what's magical about it. Okay, go for it. Maybe your shadow can do that. Key, oh! Maybe an athletics check. (laughs) A 15. You try to break it open, but it does not appear to budge quite yet. Hmm. All right. So let's try to just make our way up these stairs, I think. Okay. So up or down? They're down. They go down. Oh, no, down these stairs. All right. To the down and in. Okay. As you reach that point. Oh. You see... Laxador has stepped all over us. <laughs> Laxador! Squish, squish, uh, squish, squish. You see appearing in these corners over here. Appears to be two figures float in shadows. And as you walk in, they say, this is where you die. And all of a sudden in their hands appears this shadowy blade. As that's where we're gonna end it.